guys, Mr. Mint312 here, just doing a quick little video. You know, today we all have that special someone. In fact, this is kind of hard for me to tell you guys about, but I have that special someone deep in my heart today. And today, well, I want to show you that special someone. Someone who has been the love of my life for the past three years. Someone very, very special to me. Graf guns. <laughs> oh my god. In all seriousness though, I did get this game around the time that artificial mass blocks became a thing and people started doing stuff with uh, gravity cannons and well I mean obviously I've done a lot of other stuff um, but recently I have been rather innovative. I had to take a huge break from really anything but PUBG for a while. Oh my god did I just admit that I play PUBG? I was just so burnt out I've been working but I thought, why not do a little quick video today? So, um, in one of my older video, one of my more recent videos, I showed y'all my build of the USR Watchman and its spaceball cannons. You know, come to think of it, I actually promised to show y'all the interior of the Watchman, and I never really did. Here, let me show you real quick. I said real quick, didn't I? Now the spaceball gun was a pretty cool little design, and I show it in more detail in that video if you want to go watch and watch that. But there are some problems with it. I thought I could probably do something much better. Let me show you what I came up with. Beat the merge ball cannon. <laughs> Let me show you its features. As you can see, it's pretty standard looking um, grab gun affair. Uh, gravity generators, uh, welder to build the projectile, and obviously a conveyor system to bring up the materials. Um, what I think is fairly unique though is the ammunition. It takes the same sort of concept as the spaceball gun did, but it's, it does make some things a little different, but overall makes things a lot simpler. Well, first of all, you remember the old one had to have the projection on a rotor so that the stock could be ground off with a grinder, therefore the bullet could be shot off by the gravity generators. Uh, well now this simplifies the process a lot more, because the problem with rotors obviously is you can't print a ship using rotors with one go, you'd have to build whatever subgrids separately, and I mean while it's not that hard to just slap on a projector and do all that, it's also, I mean, why, have to, why should you have to do that when you can just do this? Um, this also, so this does away with the grinder, it does away with rotors, just needs one single welder. Uh, depending on, you can do other bullets for this kind of thing too. And, and overall this actually does kind of slim it down a little bit to the point where I was able to put it on some of my new UNSC builds, uh, the vanilla ones. So as you can see here, the bullet is still a space ball, but instead it has a merge block. What's interesting this way, like people think, why don't you just have like a battery and an artificial mass block? Well, the merge ball can still power itself. It still has mass and it doesn't matter. Like the merge block is there just to simplify the process. And I think it actually kind of makes a cooler looking bullet. It kind of looks like a little uh, chess piece, like a little pawn flying across space. It's kind of cool to watch. Um, I've also got a different variant of this bullet I'll show you later. Uh, another thing that this does helps a lot with is with thanks to the merge block, uh, it was really, like with the rotor and the grinder, it was really hard to time the, the grinder being finished with uh, grinding all down the stock and then the gravity generators turning on at the exact same time was kind of a pain in the butt. But with this now, it's you can do it with a timer. It'll instantaneously do both at the same time, turn off the merge block and turn on the gravity generators. Which and since this is actually a end of the barrel mounted weapon, you can do that you can use this thing while moving and while swiveling the gun around to aim at a target. It does generally bring a lot of improvements. You can also do this towards the back of a barrel, but me, I don't like to do that because it just introduces more issues. But also an issue with that is 
um, it's being at the front of the barrel, there's only so many gravity generators you can really put on unless you have ones that are modded with a higher uh, gravitational range. Because uh, I think only 30 block, even only 30 blocks long, a gravity generator all the way at the back would just barely be able to accelerate this bullet. Alright, now that I've shown you the basics of how the gun works, I can show you a couple ships that I have been able to mount it on, and you may recognize both of these. First off is the Artemis class battlecruiser from Sins of the Prophets, easily my favorite Halo fan and build of all time. Um, it recently got a visual, slight, slight visual update. After the visual update, I had to do some small changes to pretty much all the ships, and I made some small visual upgrades, and obviously now, instead of two space ball guns, this thing features two merge ball cannons. And by the way, these rounds can go over, even with just these amount of gravity generators, these guns can actually fire the bullets at about um, two, between 240 to 260 meters per second, depending between these two variants. Uh, the Artemis class can only fire this kind of bullet, and it fires them at about 240 meters per second which is still fairly good, and they do have some pretty impressive power, but then the Halo Orbital Defense Platform with its Super Mac, and I really love how this build turned out, by the way. I'll show you the interior in a minute. Uh, actually has, you see the here, here the welder is a little farther forward to incorporate a different kind of bullet. So let's go over here, and these are all survival ready, by the way. I showed you like with the conveyors. You, uh, Everything's all piped up, so this weapon should work in survival mode if you just give it the materials. The interior is rather small on the orbital defense platform because it's a pretty slim little station. But, I mean, the bridge looks kind of cool, I think. Alright, so we go over here and press 8. See that? Now, I mean, again, it kind of looks like a chess piece to me. It looks like a queen. But now, it has a bullet with a explosive tip. And by the way, these weapons actually fly pretty straight uh, for the most part out of the barrel. Some, sometimes they come off with a little bit of spin, I have no idea why, but they do uh, fly pretty straight. And that was one of the reasons I originally used just a space ball because for me, I see bullets tumble a lot sometimes and that just kind of turns me off. But these turn pretty straight. And this thing actually fires bullets at about 260 to 280 meters per second depending uh, because it this this rounds a little more massive therefore it's a little harder to accelerate so it goes a little bit slower but yeah and I really like that I was able to develop these that they're very compact very powerful very simple and whatever ship you have them on you can build the whole ship in one go and it's all ready Okay, here we are aboard my Artemis class, and over here we have a Marathon class cruiser that's about almost two kilometers away. Also, recently I updated all my ships with this little feature. It's a little harder to see it in the dark, but there we see. I actually uh, use a projector with a ground down piston head as a sort of sight, and it helps. Helps a decent amount, except in the dark, but obviously with the Artemis, there's a more restricted field of view, so it's not that hard to aim. Okay, we're locked on targets. And let's print off one round. Let's do the top one. The firing process is also a lot quicker with uh, the merge ball gun. Here, I'll just turn on the light so you can see what happens. Visual update makes things look so much more awesome, too. Ooh! right through the bridge and you see that it just punched clean through now this ship is made of light armor but I think that was pretty cool um, I keep forgetting usually if you aim with my halo ships I designed the UNSC ships like if you aim basically dead center you're pretty likely to knock out like all the reactors and stuff depending on what weapon you're using actually um, by the way the marathon got a pretty decent visual upgrade to based on since the profits they updated their marathon to have a lot more detail and look a lot more like a cruiser so obviously this looks different than what you might have seen before so as you can see just a merge ball gun just one just a simple merge ball round does pretty good and you saw it impact the tip first and so there wasn't a whole lot of spin or uh, wobble on its way here but wait till you see the explosive tip version. 
All right, here we are for the SMAC and the, uh, there we go. I shouldn't have put this ship in the dark because it's just a little more, a little harder to see. But now with the new uh, visual update to the game, oh my gosh, large warheads are just so cool. And it works just like the old one. It'll print around when I press one. And yep, yep, see, it's on its way. Okay, I hit a little too far to the left. Where did I? Is it powered down? No, nope, it's not. Let's see. Oh yeah, I just missed the reactors, but oh my gosh, look at how big a hole that Nom Nom did in the Marathon class. And heavy armor does not fare any better against these either. The merge balls are very good. Uh, taking down components, punching through armor. They're about as good, uh, about as close to a vanilla mat cannon as I can get on a small scale, and for pure simplicity's sake, I let, I am definitely very proud of this. I hope you guys like this little video, I hope you guys like these little builds, and I will do little spotlight videos to go with each workshop item, hopefully in the next couple of days, so you guys get to see them in more detail, I hope you'll check them out on the workshop and play with them yourself, both the uh, orbital defense platform and the Artemis class battle cruiser are updated with these new weapons, so they should be fully functional and ready to go. Also, I hope you all have had a good Valentine's Day. I know it's a little later in the day. I plan to do this more in the morning, but I had a long day at work yesterday and I came home pretty dead. So, yeah, happy Valentine's Day, guys. And hopefully, I know I always keep promising this and you guys are more than good to me. I do hope to start bringing more to the channel, whether it be just these little spotlight videos or actual productions. I do have one in the works, just, I, hope, I, I do ask you guys, just keep prodding me and keep helping me motivate myself to get these things done, because they are pretty much just as much for you as they are for me. Peace out guys, thank you for watching.